Hi there, so what we're going to have a look at today is we're going to have a look at how equilibrium, the position of equilibrium can be changed by changing uh, different conditions. The th four ones that we're going to look at, although technically one doesn't actually change anything, is going to be pressure, concentration, temperature, and then catalyst. But what you'll find is that catalyst doesn't actually change the position of equilibrium. But before we do anything, is we have to look at Le Chatelier's principle. And Le Chatelier stated that if the conditions of a reaction at equilibrium are altered, the equilibrium position will shift to minimise this change. And what that means is that if you were to do something to a system that is at equilibrium, so it's uh, settled down, it's the reaction rate for the forward and reverse reactions are the same, and the concentration of the products and reactants are constant, then that means that if you do something to that, then the system will counteract that change by changing accordingly, either using pressure. If you change the pressure, then the system will move the pressure. If you change the temperature, then the temperature or the system will change to release more or take in more heat. Um, and last but not least, if you change the concentration, then the system will move to replace the things that are lost or gained. But we'll talk about that as we go through. So what this means is that if the temperature is increased, the equilibrium will move right or left or right to decrease the temperature. So for instance, that's for the temperature. Today we're going to look at pressure and we're going to see what happens. So a change in pressure will only affect equilibria, that's just the plural of equilibrium, um, that contain gases. The number of moles of gas directly relates to the pressure in the equilibrium. More moles of gas means there's going to be more gas particles and those gas particles, if you can remember back to when you looked at the kinetic model, uh, they cause more pressure because they're hitting off the container more often, which means there's more pressure. So if the, temperatures, if the pressure is increased, the equilibrium will move to decrease the pressure. It will move in the direction with the least moles of gas. So what you can see happening here um, is actually the experiment that we're going to do. So it's the difference between a N204, which is in equilibrium with NO2. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to watch this video of an experiment and you're going to be able to see where the equilibrium goes. That is actually two moles of gas. Okay, um, But what you should see is that when the pressure is increased, it will move to the side with the least moles of gas. So that means it will move towards the N204 side. Um, they're all gases, I should mention as well. It will move to this side. Um, and this is colourless. This is a colourless gas. And this is a brown gas. So what you'll see in the video is that it won't change um, so that it's colourless, but it will change to be lighter because there will be still some uh, molecules of NO2 in there, giving it a kind of brown colour. When the pressure is decreased, the equilibrium will tr move to try and increase the pressure, so that means it will move to the side with the most moles of gas. And as you can see, this is the same thing here. I'll give you that equilibrium equation again, N204, NO2, N0, 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 that's two, it's a gas. So what you'll see happening is it's going to move to this side with the NO2 because it's got more moles of gas. And that's a brown gas. And this is colourless. So it's going to move... At the, so when you decrease the pressure, the mixture is going to become more brown and that is because there's going to be more molecules of NO2, which is the brown gas, being present in that equilibrium mixture. So what you're going to do now is you're going to see a video of this in action and you're going to be able to see what happens when the, te the pressure in the syringe with a mixture of um, these two gases is increased and then decreased and you'll be able to see what happens to the colour. Our syringe with the NO2 gas in it which is in equilibrium with N204 so it's one mole of N204 on one side and two moles of NO2 on the other side. 
Just now we've got some NO2 and what we're going to do is we are going to increase the pressure by squeezing in the syringe. So you're reducing the volume and let's look at what happens to the colour of the gas. You can see that it slightly increases in colour, it goes more brown, but then it reduces before he then lets it go. And that is because it's turned into N204. You can see that zoomed in just now. You can see that colour decreasing, it is going to go more colour, um, and that was uh, allowing you to see that there was more N204 which is colourless. Look at it again, you can see that colour disappearing just now, and then he's reduced the pressure again just to put it back to what it was, and you can see that colour come back. You can see that colour going away just before he lets that pressure go. Now we're going to look at what happens when you increase, uh, decrease the pressure. So you can see that that colour quickly loses its colour and then it comes back. And that's because it's changing towards the NO2, which is the brown gas. You can see that going more brown now. So when he decreases the pressure, cools it out, you can see that it goes momentarily, it goes really uh, colourless but then that colour comes back as more NO2 has been produced to replace the pressure that has been lost in that equi uh, the equilibrium. So just going to talk you through a wee example here. We've got a system here um, which is actually the formation of ammonia. We've got this kind of double arrow here. Um, but basically what happens to make ammonia is you've got N2 plus 3H2 and that makes two moles of ammonia. Um, there's four moles of gas on, gas on the left and only two moles of the gas on the right. An increase in temperature, or sorry, an increase in pressure will move this equilibrium towards the right because that is the side with the least moles of gas. If you decrease the pressure, um, that would actually move the equilibrium mixture to the left. And that's because that's the side of most moles of gas. And then if there's more molecules of gas, then there's gonna be more pressure, so therefore it's gonna go to it's gonna to want to go to that side to basically make up for the pressure that's been lost. Hopefully that makes sense. If you're struggling at all with this, let your teacher know, um, or you could go back over the two videos that we've got from yesterday and today and try and make a wee bit more sense of it. Thank you.